What's up, chat? What's up, YouTube? This is the Nita Podcast, episode 107. Share in the comments below. Let me know you watch this on YouTube. Uh, if you're in the Twitch chat, let's keep the energy at an all-time high, man. We had a good week. Now, we're here on Wednesdays because EA puts their games on Tuesdays just to say fuck Dubby and Squad. You know, it's cool because we fight back. Because, listen, the show never stops. This is a 24-7, you know, just vibe. That's what it is. A needed podcast, episode 107, Salt Nation. The salty man went down hard. <laughs> But he went down with a fight. Dub need me, dub need me, My dub man need Corey me. right there. There he is, man, with the ah, with the five months. Let's get it. Here he is, man. It was some good games yesterday. Actually, I'm not even gonna lie. Games were kinda ass yesterday. I'll be honest. Most fun we had was really rooting and see if Salt Nation could put on a show. Now Salt Nation put on a show. Put on a show. Not gonna be. I'm not mad at the show that was put on. You know, at the end of the day, let me tell you something, chat. Let me tell you something. It's about the show. That's what it's about, right? Like the winning and losing. That it's important. But at the end of the day, it's about the show. You know, people are gonna show up for a show. You know, some people are t some people are good enough to put on the show just playing. Other people like the Salt Nation, the 25k strong. Salt Nation. But anyway, boys, uh, before all that, we do got to talk about this weekend was rough, was it not? Whoa, this weekend was rough. From the, from the weekend leaguing, it was a rough server weekend, man. Now, I want you guys in the chat. I want you guys in the comments. How many times did you guys DC this weekend? Win or loss? What's the entire... Yes, this whole year is rough. But this weekend, I don't know what it was. Do you think there's different... There's a different server for the new Madden? Like, what? what's going on? I don't know anything about servers. I don't know anything about building consoles. I don't barely know anything about the internet. Maybe some of you guys know better than me. But it was super rough this weekend. Almost to the point where it's like, I want to say I don't really care, you know, but that's lazy. Like, I like playing the game. That's what I like doing, right? So, I, I, I mean, personally, you know, I don't care about, uh, like, records and, you know, winning Super Bowls and all that shit. If it wasn't for the rewards... It would not matter to me, man. I just like playing the game, man. Just every game for me is a every game for me is a separate entity. It's a separate experience, you know. Uh, if I, you know, I'm saying, I, you know, if I get DC, I just boot into another game. But this weekend was especially bad. And what I heard was that they're giving everybody two, um, two touchdown packs, right? That's what I heard. I mean. Is that 50k? So is that 100k per person? Is that 100 100k per person? Now let's be honest. A lot of you guys wouldn't make two touchdown picks in weekend league. All right. Um. So I. I think you gotta be a little bit happy. You gotta for you gotta give them a little forgiveness. Does that is that make right? I I feel like that make right is a W. You know, I feel like, like I said, this weekend was pretty good. Yeah, I feel like that. I feel like that was a a good, you know, apology. I feel like that's a pretty good apology. Um. Uh, the I will tell you this: the only time when disconnections suck is when you're undefeated, bro. Salt Nate, there he is, West, thirty-one months. The guy, Salt Nation, bro. I don't know how salty got twenty-five k, bro. I don't know. He might have bought. He might have bought them fuckers. He might have bought. And, and and listen, from a brand standpoint, it's not a bad move. If you paid a hundred bucks for your twenty five k, it's not a bad move, man. Salt Nation has twenty five thousand Twitter followers, bro. Sixty. It's not a bad move, man, because that can you know catapult him. To to a brand, you know, ZJ is ZJ still talking? Oh my god, fucking ZJ, bro. 
Salt got the 20 C, bro. That's shit. <laughs> hey, Salty, DM me right now. I need another 25K. I had enough. They'll get you, though. They'll get you. The Twitter police will get you. Do you guys ever notice that? Bro, Twitter police be hacking the fake followers, bro. And, and, and I will tell you, the number one person that got hit by the fake followers getting hacked, our very own Coltrane, bro. Coltrane be getting his shit hacked. Coltrane, bro. Coltrane be getting his shit whacked. Every time the Twitter police go through and cut, bro, that should be the, bro, that should be bad. Salty, yep, I'm telling you, Salty gonna wake up, that account gonna be, they're not gonna get all of them, but they gonna, they gonna, they gonna hack some of the bots out of there, bro. It be happening. But, uh, Salt Nation, bro. But anyway, the DC weekend was rough. I, I, I don't know why the servers this year have been this bad you know i i don't know i don't know if it's a covid pandemic thing it's a new generation of console thing i don't know i don't have the answer sway but in my lifetime of playing madden i haven't experienced this um so this is the worst year for me um playing madden you know damn lives that's rough see that, that DC's hurt. I'll tell you when DC's hurt the most. One, I'm going to be honest with you. Bro, if you as a person, if you're not, a, a, it, I, I, I feel like this. This is how weekend league is. If I'm not going 25-0, and 0, I, I'm, this shit is shot anyway. So if, if I if I get disconnected the first five, I'm, I'm sick. Or if I, lo if I lose, after I lose, I really don't care, right? I really don't. That's me because, I, I mean, I understand you guys, you know, you're grinding for them all-star rewards or those legend rewards, and that shit means a lot. Giving up a couple games to get legend rewards, as I know from when the No Money Spent team was a struggle bus, it does matter more. For, for me personally, I, I hate to say that man, I don't really care, but, I mean, I got to look in the minds of all of you guys that play the game and all the disconnections and things like that, man. Yeah, once you get DC'd, bro. Yeah, d with the eight, eight weekend league lot, bro. That's fucking rough. Six and two versus the DC. That's a good, that's a good, I can't lie. That's a good, that's a good percentage though. Damn, fancy with the, with the cool 500. I think I went like five and one. I want to, I think I went five and one or something. I will tell you between no money spent. I will tell you this though. And I don't know if you guys can, I don't think I have to spend another dollar on this game. I really don't. I don't know how you guys feel, whether it's Fancy Wesley and, and D Croft and everything like that. I, I don't know how y'all feel. I feel like I don't. If I play the game, I don't feel like I don't have to spend another dime on this game. Yeah, I feel like I'm done. I will tell you the first month was rough, right? And honestly, the first month was rough. One, because of training, and two, because. The best cards were a million coins a whop. Like, that's crazy. And what's, what's nuts is, the, I feel like the limiteds they've put out in the last m two months have been ass. I guess this Griffin card was good this week. You know, my man Old Tech with the two gifties, bro. See, oh, I feel like you can spend 50 and be cool. But you're not going... That's what I'm saying. Like, if you want to win... But I, I don't know, dude. I, this is how I feel. One, I could have qualified for the tournament without spending a dime. I, I 1 million percent know that. Right? But I, I couldn't have beat... I couldn't have beat somebody, you know, on my level early in the year at all, really. But now, I'm kicking the shit out of Little Man with my No Money Spun Squad. So, I mean... Now, yeah, I just feel like, I feel like it was like, my man Manny with the five gifties, bro. My man Manny with the five gifteds. I don't know, no money spent, it, one, it, it, it made me realize that um, the team 
or the grind is uh, yo you can you can you can get some things you can put some things together especially with level packs and everything but the first month is rough man the first month is rough but once like this time of year i'm really about I, a new month a new team just start at zero and just build a team that's how i'm starting to feel new players every time new month new team what's my team for december that might be the new series it might be the new series new month new team start at zero go at it man Lie by night with the gift. Oh, y'all going crazy in the podcast right now. But uh, Christmas time. I agree. Christmas is all. Listen, Madden is popping the first month. I feel like Madden at his at, at Madden's peak, the game is the best between November and January. Like, I, I always feel that way. Because, like, like, this is where you'll find, like, where the best players are a little bit a step ahead. But not everybody knows everything yet. Once you get into May and April and June and July, everybody knows everything. It's harder to find any new shit. But this time of year, people know the game. But as we saw, D. Croft, he knew a better cover three beater. You know, he knew a little bit more, so that gave him a little edge. So I think, I've always think November to January is like peak Madden season as far as competitive and everything. And that's, that's when the club series is, honestly. You know, so this is uh, definitely a good time. Now, all right, let's talk about these games. I do want to talk about my man, Evil. Evil has won. Evil O has won the Giants Club Series for the third time. Probably the most under the radar three-time Club Series champion there is, without a doubt. I mean, how many other people have won a club three times? I, I don't know. I don't know offhand. I know Drenny's won a bunch of different clubs. Um, Pavin, I guess. Um, I don't know what Trey and Boogs said, but you'll help me. Don't, I, I will talk about the, the skill gap because I learned a lot last night. And you know when I learned a lot? And I'll talk about skill gap. Let's talk about Evil Low right now. So we'll talk about skill gap. We will talk about it. Let's just, we're going to go through these. I want to go through these games. I, I honestly don't think... Um, any of the games were that great. I felt like Evil O versus Maddie G was it was a pretty good game. I really I thought it was a pretty good game. I enjoyed watching this one. I enjoyed watching both players play. You know, um No, I I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Evil O Evil O is really I mean I mean listen, I wish I could win a club three times. Deliverance won won the Steelers three times. Yeah, that's that's dope. It's a really good accomplishment, man. And, and listen, I'll be honest. The problem with Evil O is I don't think he's won a game once he's won the club. I don't know if he's over. I don't know. Maybe one. But last year, I don't know if you guys remember. I remember vividly because I had went to be a cheerleader spectator uh, during club series for uh, Bugs and Skimbo and everybody. And he could have. Yes. No, he didn't beat Henry. He lost to Henry. But he could have beat Henry. He should have, but he just played stupid, for real, for real. He didn't beat Henry. Did he? I swear he laid down. I swear he laid down, bro. No, he didn't beat Henry. He should have. Like, he had the game won and, like, laid down. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I thought. That's what I'm saying. And it's that game, you know, it's that, like... Because nobody, like... You know, you got to make a, you got to get a game where it's like, boom, where like, it's crazy to say, but it's like the make your mark game, bro. Like, I don't know what I'm saying. Like the game where it's like, okay, yeah, you won. Yeah, you won, uh, whatchamacallit. Yeah, you won the, uh, you won the club, you won the club, but you need like that. I want to beat Henry. I want to beat Ghost or Fancy. And I'll be honest. I mean, with the NFC East. He's by f a super underdog. You're talking about between Henry Fancy and Ghost. Like, that's that's a lot of... That's high power. That's high power. So, he's going to have an opportunity to win it. Now, is the seeding of this division go by the way these teams finish the regular season? So, honestly, the NFC East, which honestly is a really strong division right now, we don't know how it's going to end. A 
Okay, but but we gotta see how it, we gotta figure out how it ends. Now the Eagles are gonna win it, so Henry will be the one seed, and it depends on who could play. We could have Henry. We yo, honestly, this four could end up any way. There's no lock anywhere. Like the Eagles could be the last, or they could be the first. Same thing with every other team. Honestly, that's just how it works. I mean, it's like there's no, we have no idea how it's going to play out. But you know, and Evil's going to have his chance to make. To make a big statement for real, for real, and he's gonna be he's gonna be a tough out for everybody. He's always been a tough out, like, at, at, like it's always been a tough game, no matter who he plays. I don't care if it's if he's a super underdog or not. He's gonna have a tough game. Um, so I'm excited to watch this and and a huge accomplishment, man. Winning the Giants Club three time, three time Giant Club Series winner, Evil, and you know I guess he just goes under the radar one because one. I mean, you don't hear from him until he wins the club series. You know, it's not, he's not a social media guy at all. He's a married guy that works, you know, <laughs> so it's it's definitely different than some of these guys that are on social media and all the time and you hear from them a lot more often. Uh, but, you know, like I said, Evil's a good guy, for real. Like, uh, he's one of the more mature EMB members, for sure. A lot of times we, a lot of times, and I think EMB gets this, Gets this stigma because when you think EMB, you think of joke and little man, and you and you kind of just put everybody in that same stigma, which is natural. It's not wrong to do, you know, but uh, not all of them are the same people, honestly, for sure. But uh, yeah, evil's the man. Did drink the blue Long Island with joke in Orlando. Uh, a couple years ago, is a blue drink type of person. Not bad, you know. But uh, let's see what he does going on. Ghost and Fancy, um, both of them looked uh, really strong. Um, I like I said, uh, Ghost, Ghost, uh, Ghost has always been a good passer. I've always, I, for me, I've always thought higher than go higher of Ghost than a lot of my friends. I don't know. I've always thought he was good, tough to play, um, but you know, uh, and he showed that. You know, I uh, always been a good bunch person. Uh, makes a Ghost is a good play, a good play caller. You know, do you guys see that? Like, all right, Wesley said Ghost. Do you think Ghost ran it up? I don't know what I I thought Ghost was weird going for fourth downs when he was up thirty to six or something. You know I I thought that was a little bit weird. Now I don't know how you guys and Wesley Brins, I don't know how you guys feel about that type of thing. I remember I played Drinny right in uh, Ultimate League and he popped me like the game was over like in the first half right. He that was the worst I got beat in a live event. I was just playing shitty. He played good. Pop me. The game was over at halftime. I'm down by 20 points in like the, the fourth quarter, and Drenny calls Deuce close and throws a seam the bomb touchdown. And Drenny does this shit to me. Down by I'm down by the game is cooked. I want to go home. I want to turn this shit off. And he throws a fucking bomb touchdown on like first down. And I'm like, bro. Like, do you guys feel like there's rules like that and like the unwritten rules? I don't know. I don't know. All right, bro. This guy, Jet, it's been real, bro. I appreciate you joining the stream. You've not even followed me. WM Jet. Jesus. Bro, I vividly remember this shit. I, I remember it like it was yesterday, dude. I was like, bro, like... No, I and I feel like y'all... When y'all say this... Y'all haven't been on the opposite end. Pause. Y'all haven't been the one getting pounded, right? Especially by a little brat-ass kid like Journey. Like, bro, I feel like you got to respect your opponent a little bit. I don't know. Maybe y'all are different than me. You ain't doing that in the hood. All right, bro. Fucking Stringer Bell right here. You ain't doing that in the hood. The fuck? I, bro, it was bad. It was bad. Honestly, it was bad. 
I, I, bro, I'm just telling y'all what it's like when it happens. That's all I'm telling you guys, all right? And until that day when you got all the people in the Madden chat watching and you're getting your brain beat in, right? And the game's over and it's like, bro, and then this kid's still going up top. It's like, bro, like, give me a break, man. Hood games. Get the fucking idiots. Hood games. You think, bro, bro. That's how it is. You get to, because honestly, when you're in a game, you get to the point of the game where you know this shit is cooked. This shit is cooked anyway, bro. Like, this shit is cooked. It's done. Right? Like, both, si both sides know the game is over. Like, this game is cooked. It's over, like, no matter what happens. I mean, 500K is a lot. I, honestly, that's a little bit, that's a little bit too inexpensive for the free ebook. Ha, ah, it's my guy. God, I don't know what fucking hood games are, bro. I, I don't I don't know what hood games are. We used to play, uh, you go to somebody's house, you put the money on the console all the time. Then my one man, Jeff, got robbed, and we never did it again. I remember, I, we used to do that. You used to go $20 games, $40 games, $60 games, and then one time, Jeff and my one boy got robbed. It was over, bro. It was over. I just felt like, I feel like Ghost shouldn't have went for fourth down, bro. I feel like he should have punted. That's just how I feel. But, no, Jeff Jeff put me on Madden, bro. I, I don't know if I ever told you, Jeff was my guy. But then Jeff started trapping, and I believe, I want to say Jeff robbed a armored car, an armored truck. Carrie, or Casey, my bad, Casey, four months. What's up, man? Yeah, Jeff... Jeff, my man, Jeff and Moody put me on Madden in high school because they used to gamble all the time. You know, like high school money. And uh, and I wanted to beat them. And I'll tell you guys. Now, I wanted to beat them all the time. And, and Jeff was like Jeff was like the skimbo of our hood. He was. He was the best. And he would walk around with the controller in his pocket, right? Uh, and he would just try to play everybody. Right? So he would just try to play everybody. And and nobody really wanted to play him. Now Moody played him a little bit, but they would they would like go back and forth, right? And then I was like, you know what? I want these guys aren't good. Ain't no way these these guys are idiots, bro. There ain't no way they can be better than me and Madden. Well, no, I'm not snitching because he definitely got caught. But we'll get into that anyway. <laughs> anyway, so they're all playing Madden. And I remember Jeff, man. This was my friend. I remember I was like, I'm ready. I'm let's go, man. Let's go. Like Madden. I want to say like Madden 05. It might have been 06, like early 06. Yeah, the PlayStation, PlayStation 2, I want to say. It was 05 or 06. I remember he walked me up to the, to to his parents, or to his crib. And we went upstairs, played the game, and he beat the shit out of me. I'll never forget, he ran 4-3, and I felt like his four people were screaming at me, and nobody was open. I didn't know what the hell was going on. I didn't know what I was doing. And this is a crossroads in my life for Madden. I could have quit and started playing the, playing the, the guitar or some shit. You know, I could have put took up another hobby. But you know what I said? It's no way I'm losing to my friends. There's no way. Now these were twenty dollars. These were twenty dollar games. He took forty dollars from me, and it, and and I was disappointed because my friend he knew he was better than me, and he hustled me. He beat the shit out of me. So. Then a couple months go by. I'm, you know, I'm grinding, playing the computer, playing my other buddies. I'm ready. I got ready for Jeff. I got to play Jeff. I got to play him, bro. I got to beat him. That's my. That's like the goal. It's like if you can pop Jeff, you done, You made it. In, in, in our our little neighborhoods, man, you made it. If you could beat Jeff. Jeff was the best in, in the high school everywhere. He was the best. We ain't play on the internet, so we ain't really know about the fucking fancies and the Wesleys of the world. We ain't know about them sweat boxes. Let's be honest, bro. There's levels to gaming. Once you conquer your neighborhood, you're the fucking man until you plug in the internet. Simple and plain. But anyway, this was before people really had the internet gaming. So then, 
Like a month later, I got the Chargers. I swear, Madden on six. Vincent Jackson, Malcolm Floyd, Antonio Gates. Listen, I was I was high powered, high powered. Cause you know why? I learned about the high pass. Mmm. Oh six, the high pass. Whew. Boom. Gates. Boom. Vincent Jackson. Boom. Malcolm Floyd. Boom. I was high powered. I, I want to even say they had Drew Brees back then. Don't remember. But I remember I beat Jeff so bad, right? He said, I beat Jeff so bad, he stood up and said, you know what, bro, you cheating. There's no way Antonio Gates is that good. Because this is when Gates first started popping. Like when he was just a basketball player that would moss people. He said, there's no way Gates is that good. I'm like, bro, ain't nobody cheating you. Oh, no, you boosted the rosters. Gates not a 94 overall. My man, we, yo, he was so salty, he unplugged the memory card. If y'all remember, it had a memory card, PlayStation. Unplugged the memory card and said, no, I got to see the rosters. You changed them. Went back, loaded in the game, saw Gates was a 94, and he was salty. He walked out. That's when I realized, this is what I want to do, play Madden. That was the day. I'll never, I could, yo, I, I, it's so vivid in my mind. Unplugged, unplugged the memory card, looked at it, I remember, man. It was a bullshit TV in the basement. You know the basement with the concrete floor? Yeah, one of those. And he walked out the back door. You know the back doors where you had to walk by the laundry, the laundry room and shit? Like the washer and dryer right there and the back door goes to the alleyway. Yep. 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 Now Jeff, later Jeff got a little more into uh, a little more illegal stuff and everything. And like I said, then he, he robbed the armored truck. And apparently he hid, he, I, I really don't know, because we kind of grew apart, um, like, after, you know, once he started, you know, doing a little more dirt, and I started being a little straighter, uh, as far as my, uh, working, or as far as my professions, you know, so then, um, so he robbed the armored truck, apparently, I really don't know, but then apparently he hid the money, and he probably, he probably went to jail for 10 years, I want to say. But he got out probably two years ago, uh, and, you know, different dude and everything. So he got through all that. Tried to get him back on the Madden. It's hard to go away for 10 years and be, come back and want to play video games, really. The Chargers were, dude, the Chargers were high-powered in, like, the 06, probably till I Madden mean, 09. They weren't good in 09, kind of, because they still had... LT and Sproles for like toss and fullback dive. But, uh, uh, but I, I mean, but they were high powered, dude. Yeah. Merriman too, man. He was running some type of cover. No, he was running like cover three. He was like a cover three sky guy. I didn't just didn't know what the hell it was. And honestly, bro, Madden taught me a lot about football. I, it really did. Like we talk about Madden. No, Madden's not sim. Madden, playing Madden and watching football. I mean, they both of those taught me a lot about football. It really did. You know? Wow, Pete, relax. If I if I didn't beat him, maybe he doesn't turn to crime. <laughs> I one million percent understand uh, basic like route combos and and play calling. Obviously, the easiest thing to do is is <laughs> clock management. Philly Jeff. There is no guy named Philly Jeff. Stop it. Oh, ain't nobody make a name called Philly Jeff. Stop. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. And, and I, yo, Football and Madden. Every time we, we used to play turkey, uh, like turkey with our friends, turkey football and everything, I would always play quarterback and tell people where to go. But I, I would try to teach them routes. I, you know what? I remember I used to like teach my little cousins and stuff. I, I have I have two two cousins, right? And my cousin and my stepbrother. 
Uh, they a little, they a little soft. I'll be honest. They not, they not like sports guys or like game. They're like Gips, you know. They're a little, they're soft, right? So I would take my little girl cousins, right? My girl cousins were young as shit, and I would teach them plays, like my girl cousins. Like I would teach them. I'd be like, listen, and I would play steady quarterback, right? With my two boy cousins or my my cousin and my stepbrother. They, they were probably like fourteen and thirteen. And my two girl cousins were probably like nine and ten. But I would like low key like have like signals to my little girl cousins. Like tell them A, B, and C, and that one was a post, one was a drag. So I would have hella plays when I was quarterback with them, right? Because I wanted them to win so bad so I could laugh at my little punk cousins for losing to the girls. So me and my little nine and ten year old girl cousin, I'm like, I'm like, hey, 13, 4, and they're running posts and drags and shit. Because I was a hot route dude on Madden. Yeah. So I had tons of plays ready. And then when the boys had to, and I was quarterback for them, I would just beam the shit at them. Like, bro, you got to learn how to catch. The girls, I would, like, toss the ball. Like, all right, let's get this touchdown. When the boys were open, no. Nah. <laughs> nah, bro. <laughs> I was Jamarcus Russell, bro. <laughs> that was crazy. But yeah, but Madden definitely has taught me a lot about football for real, for real. All right, I'm gonna talk about Salt Nation, bro. The Salt Nation. The Salt Nation's ride. It's not over. Salt Nation never dies. It's just it's just on pause for a little bit, bro. No, I can throw the football. I don't really have a super strong arm. I'm just I, I'm I'm pretty accurate and smart. It's like the number one thing a quarterback has to be is smart, really. GG's to Salt Nation, bro. They fought. They fought. 25K. Um, they fought, you know. Uh now I will tell you something about Henry that is impressive, but I feel like every really good player is kind of like this. Bro, Henry don't yo, that shit don't get to him. Let's be honest. That first half was fucking ugly. If we were if we were playing that if we were Henry playing salty in the first half of that game on weekend league, yeah, we would be throwing shit. Bro. One, he was getting the little fluky, but then he was just this is the thing. First down, second down for salty were the worst fucking plays ever. Like, he looked like, like, bro, like, but, but then he cook up a semi-dot every third down. For real. He would cook up some semi-dots. But then Henry just be, like, he don't be, like, he don't be heated at all. And I, I put into my, I, I, I randomly thought about this. Can you guys remind me, uh, oh my God, he was a third down demon. Salty was a third down demon. He was a third down demon. Can you guys think of a player that you guys think is super elite at Madden and they show, like, negative emotion or they get pissed off mid-big game? Can you think about any player like that? That that you that, I'm talking, like, that's, like, belt winner type of, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that. No, I'm just not zero, but, like, be kind of chill. Or, or somebody that, like, shows a lot more. I feel like I don't be spazzing. Not in no big-ass game. In, like, in like the weekend league. Hell yeah. I think joke, I, and, and, and carried, I think that is something that held joke back in the first first couple years at MCS. I think joke's emotion always be holding him back. I think that's something he's gotten better at in, in the last couple years, honestly. Well, chaos clip. And, and and Sheeves, that's what I'm going to. I feel like the great players are like more composed because like more composed to the point where it's like any any bit of emotion or time you spend on the last play takes away from your next play, really. That's how I feel. I, I I feel like 
I feel like a lot of people um got to realize that like but it, it's it's a lot easier said than done and I think it goes to kind of personality, you know? What's your personality like, you know? And I don't know like I, I don't know a lot of these kids too well, you know, like to know what they like and because you guys know how do they act in real life? How do they act uh, when it's raining out and they don't have an umbrella and shit like that. Oh, you got to get a little bit of lucky. Unless you're Dubby and Wesley, you can win a whole tournament without getting lucky. You know, that, you know that's... That's like... It takes nuts to win a tournament without getting lucky. But you know, we ain't going to bring all that type of shit up. Yeah, everybody's personality is a little different. Now, Kiv. Now, Kiv be chilling. But back when D. Jones put the hands on him, he wasn't chilling. But I do, I do feel like that's a uh, that's a learning point. Uh, what I was going to say, not a learning point, but something that some of you guys can take from uh, watching Henry fight the fluke in that first half. Well, now, I don't want to say fight the fluke, but the game was fighting him and Salty was converting plays. Uh, it was kind of a storm uh, against Henry in the first half between the game a little bit and Salty kind of just being a third down demon. And Henry didn't really let it affect his his mindset and his attitude. And that's something you guys can learn from that, bro. For real, for real. Yeah, so that's something to pay attention to at, for these games going forward. Are games only on Tuesday, and who play? What what division plays this Tuesday coming up here, boys? What division plays this Tuesday coming up? You know, the AFC South. So Big West, <laughs> Big West, Big West. A uh, little man. Ooh, the little man. Doesn't little man have a oh little man spot? Oh, these games are gonna go crazy. Little man Spoto, the Big West. Uh, let me see if I can remember all the Drinny and Big West, Little Man Spoto, and the last team is. Oh, thank you, lady. Uh, the last team. I swear, divisions are so easy to remember, but then, like, when you got to remember, you can't remember. But don't tell me. Houston Titans, which is, is, is my man, uh, something serious still there? Who's, uh, who's in Titans? Some serious is still alive? Some serious is, bro, some serious is tough. Is he still alive, some serious? I, I, I guess I should. Oh, some serious versus Crip. Bro, some serious? <laughs> that boy's tough. I'm, I'm being honest, bro. That boy's tough. Big West, I... Word, I've been, bro, I've been trying to tell Big West that shit, bro. He want to be Wesley. That's a big, big West. Big West. We'll see. I, I, I'll be honest, man. I'm, I'm interested to see these bunch guys that I think are good. It's good watching Henry. Um, uh, Henry did open the playbook up a little bit more. Uh, I just, and Salty kind of just. Oh, but uh, I want to see how this bunch holds up. Is it as effective as Trips tight end going down the line in this tournament? Really? Because there's, there's a lot of things I think are still really good about bunch. Like, bunch is, like, Bunch is really good and really ass at the same time, man. If, if anybody understands that, I feel like I want to watch the, the best players play with it. I feel like uh, I, I do feel like Bunch has so many disadvantages. But at the same time, it's still high powered. So I want to see how they work and how uh, and how uh, they they kind of. How they kind of combat some of the defenses we've seen people run against Bunch. And uh, honestly, steal some of their ideas. I do think Trips is I I do think Trips is better. You know, I and I feel like I feel like I, and it's kinda how I'm at 
how I am right now. It's like, bro, I feel like playing really good on offense, right? But it's like, I, I feel like trips could be better, but it's like, I don't want to leave the good things about Bunch. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to leave the good things about Bunch. I feel like if I leave the good things, uh, it's going to be, I'm going to miss them, you know? Bunch is not easier, bro. Bunch is not. I, I, I do think trips is better. Bunch is, bunch is fucking tough. And this is what, uh, me and Skimbo talk about this all the time, chat. When you load into a game, right, and you load into the weekend league, and the first thing your opponent comes out in is bunch, how do you feel? Happy? A bazooka no-name player. You've never heard of this guy before. Does he come out in bunch, or does he come out in trips tight end? What would you rather play against? A no-name bazooka. That's what I'm saying. I'd rather play a no-name dude in bunch. Because I'm going to just blitz the shit out of him. He's going to be lost. I don't have to worry about inside zone. I don't have to worry about a fucking running back table route and that level sale piece of shit fucking play. God damn it, bro. Fucking level sales, man. I want to beat the shit out of whoever put that play in the game and has left it in the game for five years. Z-spot gone. Every, the little, the good, the good uh, C routes, gone. The good C route out of tight offset, gone. All the good plays and wide trips, gone. Level sales never, ever dies. PA post, gone, gone. Gone. Just take it out. Kids, kids can't play defense. Take it out. And they wonder why we're sitting here with fucking two offensive formations. Because they take out everything. Level fucking sales, bro. Level sales. Them darted fucking play, bro. God damn. I give up 10 yards to the running back before I even open my eyes on defense. Step. What covers that shit? What covers the running back on level sales? Let me know. What do I got to do? Tell me. I man up a linebacker. Huh? I man up a DN, huh? I man up a hard flat, swat. No, nobody does three curls. Only good people put three curls or three hitches. Like, and it pisses you off when you're playing a good person, right? You know what pisses you off the most? When you play a fancy or what, and they throw a fucking two yard pass. Like, who are you, bro? You're supposed to be high powered and you're going to make me guard a two yard pass? Like, what, you fucking loser? Then they do the shit in the head-to-head the -head games. Like, bro, if you don't send some shit, yeah, if you don't send the ball down the field, god damn. I'm playing fucking fancy. He's running inside zone 50% of the time. Like, gee, bro, if you don't send some shit, yeah, you feel me? Like, bro, like, what? Like, god damn. Fucking sweat boxes, man. Pure sweat boxes. Zero fun, sir. Zero fun. You throw a hitch. Bro, you throw a hitch for three yards on, on weekend league. You're a you're a different type of sweat box, bro. Oh my god. Facts, fact, Nappy, that's my point. It's not about that they shouldn't be allowed. Let them go ahead and they should be allowed to do it. It should be a mindset. Send some shit. It's like watching Nick Merckx play fucking... It's like watching Nick Merckx play damn Warzone and land at, and land at prison. That's what it's like. He landed at prison, bro. <laughs> like, bro, what? Fucking hitches, bro. Take hitches the fuck out, bro. Send some shit. Send some shit. Prison. No, but let's talk about this Madden 20. Cause I played now part of part of these games I watched. I watched um now honestly I, I've always thought Kerry's uh, annoying to play. Uh and he's not 
a bad player, but I just saw Kerry get the shit kicked out of him. And I saw my man Big Show get the shit kicked out of him by better by better players. It was just, I just bro, they're just better players. And they beat them dudes by 30 points. And I'll be and I don't I don't know what the hell happened to Fancy last year in clubs. I don't know who we lied, but and Fancy obviously lost in clubs. And Ghost lost in clubs to stretch. <laughs> I don't know if Fancy lost to stretch. But I, I thought a lot of seeing those two guys. No, I really think seeing two guys I think are really good. What this is what I'm saying. Wesley lost to Jay Mills. This is what I'm saying. I like I said, I told you guys about Ghost. I, I think Ghost is good. Obviously, I think Fancy is good, right? Um, and they beat the shit out of people. And all I could think about is I was like, bro, is this not like proof that like, bro, like this game has way more of a gap than than last year. Like, I don't even think this is an argument to have. I'm, I really, this is a non-comparing to last year topic. I don't, like, it's, to me, it's not even close. But last night I played uh, Snoop Dogg, and I played my man Dan Rue. Now, Dan Rue, last year, was a fucking sweat box. I don't know if you guys know, but Dan was a sweat box. He was a sweat box. This year, bro, he can't get a first down this year. He cannot get a first down. No. He can no. Y'all I like it's he can't get a first down this year. I haven't played my man. Who my man? Ryan Hollins. I haven't played Ryan Hollins, but Ryan was kind of sweaty last year. Yo, and like, oh my God, it's so much better. It, it's so much better. No, Ryan was sweaty last year. No, Ryan Hollins was sweaty last year. Like, yeah, exactly. Ryan had the best 3-4 send everybody. Ryan, Ryan's 3-4 was nasty, bro. That joint, I don't know what the hell he did. I had to make reads like, bro, big bro. And they just ran. I don't. Boogs said that shit to make people talk about it. Honestly, he did. Nah, he, he Boogs did that shit for the content. He don't believe that shit, bro. Boogs, first of all, user won a fucking club last year. Boogs lost a fucking jet touch pass last year. I don't know. See, and people complain about the audible system. I don't think it's a big deal. I think it's who gives a shit. The the run suck. I think the run sucks. People audible down, literally praying for the one fucking run that goes to a touch. It's it's way worse this year because one out of fifty runs go for a touchdown. Last year it was like one out of eight is going for a touchdown, right? This year it's like one out of fifty for real, or one out of a hundred runs go to a touch go for a touchdown. I don't think the run is, I don't think the run is, I don't think the run is, uh, I don't think the run is good at all, really. Yeah. I I just feel like the running back fights for yard. I I don't think the running back fights for yards every play. I feel like he does it uh he does it occasionally. He does it at the right time. And I feel like to reach for it, you should have to pay for that ability. Really. Yeah. It, it, they they shouldn't do that. Wesley, what is this tweet? Bro, I don't want to hear what Trey and fucking Bugs got to say, bro. That, I mean, he's right. That's what I said. What the fuck? That's literally what we said.
The best Manning, I see. I don't know. They're all different. Man, I, I, I am a big fan of this football game. I really do. I really am a big fan of this football game. I don't know, uh, K Mac, my guy with the 19 schmumps. The 19 schmumps. I'm a big fan of this football game. I am. I don't think, I don't think, uh, we're going to get, uh, too much better of a game. I, I, I just, I don't want to be, uh, the guy that just, like, concedes and says, oh, this is enough for me or, or, you know, be acceptant. Or, I guess, what is the word? What the hell's the word I'm looking for? Complacent, I guess. You know, but I mean, see, I I am I am the biggest. Listen, I'm the biggest throw out a sack person. I, I I don't know how y'all complaining about throw out a sack. Oh, the servers are dog shit. Yo, the servers are so bad. I don't know why it's never been this bad. Yo, if you're having a problem with throw out a sack, get rid of the fucking ball, bro. For real. Get rid of the ball. You know what? I'm not mad at throwing a sack ever. Ever. What do you mean a gap? Like the dis like disengage or some shit? And I feel like high key to disengage, I don't know what they did, but I feel like they kind of tuned it down. Or are people going away from those uh my man JT, what's up, buddy? JT, they gotta unban me on 2K, bro. I don't know how long it's been. No, user rush should be a thing. I have not I have not seen user rush be be glitchy. I haven't seen it glitchy. The only thing super glitchy about the user rush is when he go all the way around. But I mean by then get rid of the ball. Step up in the pocket and get rid of the ball, really. The old line is pretty bad, but I think they did get a Yeah, user rush. The only time user rush is good against shotgun is when the fuck you surprise the shit out of somebody. No, he just surprised them. You have to surprise the shit out of somebody. Yes, I you Mac. When I use a rush, I blitz so many people that there's nobody there to block me. Strip Strip specialist, I guess, is a pretty stupid ability, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think um, you should have to be on conservative, but I really think everybody's going to be on conservative anyway because the air truck is kind of gone now. Uh, I think air truck is gone, so I think everybody's going to be... I don't know about you guys, and you guys tell me if you play on conservative, but I feel like if I played a big game right now, I'd be on conservative. Yes, I think, I think conservative should stop it or at least limit that bitch to one out of 100 times. You know? I mean, it's an ability. Like... I mean, what if there was a, what if there was like a, I don't know. The counter should just be conservative. Really. Air truck, you can't air, you, you can't air truck no more. That's just dead. Double or nothing. I Double or nothing is a way bigger deal than strip specialist to me. That double or nothing. Them dudes are cracked. Them dudes are cracked. I don't know how edge threat is three AP and double or nothing is one. <laughs> Them dudes are fucking cracked. What ability would you put on Denzel Ward, the cornerback from the Browns? I would go with Homer, bro. Use Homer and make sure you play home games. Yeah, I, I, dude, I think the game is super good. Fucking dude, like. And he said Denzel Ward, like, I don't know what the fuck he's talking. Did you see how he said that? Yo, what what ability would you put on Denzel Ward from the Browns? Is there another Denzel Ward? Is there a Denzel Ward from, from the Broncos? Is there a Denzel Ward, Ward on the Redskins? Like, who? How many Denzel Wards are there? Yeah, well, I said I'm not mad at it. I, I think One Step is ass, though, but you know. I don't think One Step is good. Put the sprinter ability facts. It's Brian for show. What's up? It's Brian for show. 
Yeah, what, see, now one step is crazy with mid blitz because you can't, you can no longer use your tight end and your running back to to beat those guys. No, well, let's like. I don't want to say this. Well, that's why we see D. Croft. You gotta go get yourself. Um, Jerry Judy, who gets the 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 Slotomatic for two AP. Now I don't know if you guys I don't know if you guys agree with me. Slotomatic is way more goaded than than the Route Tech. Slotomatic is bro. Slotomatic goes crazy. I don't know if if I don't know if maybe I haven't used Route Tech enough, but Slotto. Nah, man, this dude Jerry Judy be frying. Jerry Judy just fries people. Wesley, yeah, I don't. Maybe I, dude, I'm telling you. I think I I think Jerry Judy goes nuts, bro. I think Judy goes nuts. <laughs> now nah, Judy from the from the Cleveland Browns. Judy goes nuts. I think, and I don't know. I I never thought I needed like route tech. I, I never think I need that shit, dude. I really don't. I really don't, but. I got it on the no money spent because it was like the only ability I could afford because of my team was shitty. It was the only guy that got abilities at first. And I was like, holy shit, <laughs> yo, this dude be wide open. I, I never use route abilities. I just, I, I honestly feel like my receivers be getting open on anybody. You know why? Because I learned to fucking lowball everything. If you lowball everything, I, don't, I really don't think you need route abilities. But. That Slotomatic went crazy. But let's be real, man. The, the biggest thing about this game to say, you know, the game's pretty good. Bro, everybody's passing the ball. Even the runners, they're passing the ball because they have to mix it up. They have to be balanced. Everybody's passing the ball. And everybody is with a pocket quarterback. Is that not insane? Haven't we said this for so long? When are they going to make a pocket quarterback matter? They're going to pocket quarterbacks matter. Bro, everybody has a pocket quarterback. So for me, that those are two huge positives. Huge positives. There's no blitz that is OP. The quarterback can get rid of the ball. I'm, I'm seriously. The cards are stale. All right, Dreidel, take a fucking hike, bro. My man said the cards are stale. <laughs> well, honestly, Salty didn't know what the fuck he was doing. Salty just came out, blocked the running back, and bro, Salty had no fucking idea what he was doing against 146. And you know what? You know what? Yo, pass defense should be fucking hell when you're down two scores and it's third and 15. Yes, pass defense should be fucking insane. That's football. What do you think? Tom Brady's like, oh, well, third and fucking 12. Oh, yeah, this will be easy. What the hell? God damn. Yeah, I just like Salty had no idea, bro. Like he had like you could like he never played against 146. Like I feel like watching Salty play 146, I don't think he's ever I don't even think he played last year. Oh, Salty's not what, bro, he just didn't know how to play against 146. And by the time 146 got put on the field, it's just, the game was cooked anyway. Yeah, but I do think game is super, super tough. Oh, 
Oh, Salty got stuck running the same plays over and over. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right. The CJ Mosley comment. That's the end, bro. Salty and Vos probably smoke loud and bang high school hoes together. Yeah, MF, MWF, yes. Yeah. Salty and Vos smoke loud. Salt Nation. I'm over you guys tonight, man. I'm over it. I'm over it. Y'all just went too far now, bro. <sighs> Y'all love Vols, bro. Vols gonna make a lot of money in Madden. Y'all love Vols, man. Y'all love a Vols. All y'all talk about is Vols. I'm gonna be real. Y'all talk about Vols so much, man. Vols, Vols has made the meta for being successful in Madden. He's made the meta. Be a fucking nerd. Look like a nerd. Be super cringy. You know what I'm saying? And grind Madden. And don't give a shit. And all y'all gonna talk about him. They have made the meta. He's made the meta. He's smart. Yes. Act. Talk shit. Oh, he's a genius. Bro, he is a genius, man. He's a genius. Vos is a genius. Don't I'm telling you, he's a genius. He's a genius. And I told y'all about uh, ugly people would uh, yo ugly people would would kill it. Yo, listen, if you're ugly and you want and you're scared to be a streamer because you're ugly, bro. Listen, you being ugly is content. Like, take Wesley, for example. When Wesley streams, half of the chat is talking about how fucking goofy he looks. That's content. Y'all gotta understand. All your content doesn't have to be positive. People can make fun of you. That's a good thing. Like, that's a good thing. You know? Like, they're gonna clown you. And that's okay. How many times do people call me bald? It happens all the time. I can't be in problems chat for more than 15 minutes before somebody coming at his hair. It's part of the game. It is content. Now that I think about it, man, players are going to get killed. Yeah. Oh, they're going to kill you. They're going to, listen, they're going to, they're going to come for everybody, bro. I'm telling you. And the worst part is, the main trolls probably have five accounts on Twitch. And they have five. And they, and shit, if they need six, it don't take but three minutes. Right? They'll be back. They'll be back. Just give her another Quaalude. She'll be back in the morning. That's because Kiv ain't get to that point yet. You got to understand, Lobs. You got to understand. You got to get more seasons so people feel comfortable airing you out. I'm telling you. Once people feel... Once people see it's okay to air you out, oh, they going to air you out, bro. It's got to be the first one. Somebody got to dive in first, bro. Somebody just got to come off the top shelf and let everybody know it's okay to troll. You know what I'm saying? Somebody got to let them know. No, seriously. Once your chat starts trolling you, you made it. I'm I'm telling you, it's, it's, bro. Yes, the Skimbo and Kid, they be, they, the chats are too friendly now. I saw Skimbo audible and down running dive for two yards, and the chat was like, wow, this scheme is crazy. I, they said that. The chat said that. They were like, Skimbo, why you choose that eye form over the strong eye? I swear to God. And the worst part was, 
and with some of my chat regulars that were that were that were asking for the scheme. My regular ass trolls, bro, were like, "Wow, Skimbo, this is tough." I was like, "What? What?" Dude, dudes asked them, "Yo, why'd you choose that eye form?" Yo, when they said, "Why did you pick that eye form?" I was all set, bro. It was one of my mods. I'll be honest. It was one of my mods. I'm not going to call names. I'm not going to call names. Jump school is one of my mods. That's what I'm saying. Why would you choose that eye form? My man Huns Burglar. My guy. 28 months. That's a big That's a big stretch. That's a big stretch. How can you get from being aired out to a friendly chat? That's impossible. That's impossible. To see, look, look, and then Skip, Skip, I don't know what Skip said, but he probably lied. Like he knew what the fuck he was doing. Like, yeah, I like, I like this eye form because it has two receivers on the left. I like their angles on their blocks. That's some shit Master Gamer would say, right? They got two receivers on the left, so their blocks are, their angles on their blocks are a little bit stronger on the dive. Oh, man. Bro. They ain't skimbo chat to learn. No, but I'm telling you, once your chat start trolling you, because let's be real, chat. Y'all have more fun laughing at somebody than dick eating, right? What's more fun, laughing at somebody as a squad or dick eating? Dick eating is not fun. Oh, I hope he notices me. Oh, let me tell him how great he is. Oh, no, you want to start killing the streamer. It's way more fun to tell jokes. Look at this dumbass. Ha <laughs> ha. Like, that's way more fun. And you want people having more fun in your stream. The more fun they have in the stream, the more likely they are to come back. For real. That's the key. So if you're ugly, imagine how successful you could be as a streamer. Now, it's, it, honestly, as a good-looking streamer like myself, it's honestly an obstacle we have to overcome because nobody's really going to make fun of our looks, you know? But if you're ugly, you already got that in the bag. Wesley, bro, he could be, bro. Wesley could be, no, he could be the best streamer out. Who else is ugly? Give me another ugly Madden player. Woo? Uh, bro, see, Woo is Twitch banned, so we can't talk about him. Penguin? Earl. <laughs> yo, Earl. Earl is... Yo, Earl is a prime candidate for, for the ugly success through the roof, bro. But I feel like he's too sensitive, bro. You can't be sensitive. My man, Big Show with the five gifted, the legend. There he is, man. Big Show, that guy, he's a little bit ugly. Like, Big Show kind of ugly. Slim Ghost kind of ugly. No, Bugs is just goofy, bro. Like, and I feel like Bugs ain't stupid. My man Leo with the five gifted. Big Show with another five gifted, man. Let's go, Leo. Leo, South American mad in the building, my man Leo. Big Show with five. My man Andy with a five piece, man. Let's get it. Y'all going crazy. Ghost kind of ugly. Legend. You know. Uh, Ink Sully, what my man Kane with the five gifted? Oh, y'all going crazy right now? Let's go, man. Gut Fox, yeah, you know, I mean, I don't do, do Gut Fox chat be trolling him about him being ugly though. I don't know, I don't know if Gut Fox chat be troll. I don't think they're trolls, bro. I think they're a nice, friendly community. I think the den is friendly unless you fuck with their rewards or their solos or something. Yeah, I, I don't think, uh, I don't think that, I don't think that's a. Nah, yeah, I don't think I don't think the Gut Fox is a a violent place. I think it's the timing. Like me, a problem. We be at the nighttime demon chat hours. 
Those little, yo, the bugs and skimbo hours? Them dudes friendly as shit. Me and Problem Chat, bro, that, we be getting fucking aired. Aired, bro. Pitbull, that guy's a demon, bro. Yeah, my, my man Rob was like, bro, you should do unban requests on stream. I was like, bro, I really don't ban anybody. So if you're banned, please 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 put in an unbanned uh, sub permission slip. What the hell is it called? An application to get unbanned? Yo, get put in your application to get unbanned. If you're banned, then you can't talk in the chat, bro. You know what I'm saying? But I'm telling you, so don't ever think don't ever think being ugly is a downside for streaming. It's not. I bro, how, where's link link my link my my unbanned requests? Yeah, the only people I ban are like super, super like just dudes that like just you know you know what I'm talking about, bro. Y'all ever see an ugly dude with a bad bitch and you be like, how'd that happen? You know why? Cause he don't give a shit. And you thinking about it right now, you know a specific ugly person that has a bad bitch. You know what? You gotta know him, my man Johnny Madden. No, it's not even money. Because he don't give a shit. All right, let's see how many unbanned requests we have, bro. I, it's really not that many banned. Oh, I got, I got five. I got five unbanned requests. All right, let's take a look. Let's take a look at what we got here, boys. Let's take a look. Here we go. All right, we got all right. Two days ago, yesterday, yesterday, coming spawn, Sp bro. This see, this just sound like it's gonna be bad. Like this is gonna be bad. I gotta like, oh, can we actually? Oh, we can make this all the way. Hold on. I wish I could make this full screen or better. I mean, I could zoom in, but this is gonna be bad, bro. This is going to be bad. Yeah, they probably just went crazy. Oh no, wrong one. Fuck. All right. Here we go. Unbanned requests. Like, look at this shit. That's what I'm talking about, Rob. You can't do this shit. You don't understand. You think, see, Rob, you think the whole world is your corny ass first person shooter world. It's not. It's not. Look at this guy. Ever been drive and throw your cigarette out the window and you start to smell something burning so you turn around to find your grandma fingering herself in the back seat? I'm telling you, Rob, this is not fucking Valorant. This is the Madden community. These dudes are sickos. You can't allow this shit. Oh, do this shit on stream. Bro, this is not Counter-Strike, bro. <laughs> Here we go. PD Go Gimp. All right, look, look. What is this? Look, all right, snag ban, my man. What is this? I don't even know what this is. I don't even want to load it. It's probably going to be a giant. It's going to be, listen, this is going to be something terrible. Do I load previous? What is this? It's a it's a cock. It's a giant cock, bro. I promise don't do anything bad again. Please unban me. Unban. Let's see what you, uh, okay. Stay positive. Stay positive, bro. Send it. You've unbanned. Okay, okay. What else do we got? My man simply four rocks. Bitch, bitch. Bunch of Henny bottles. Banned by Little Man for cursing. All right. Little Man banned this guy and took the time to tell us why he banned him. <laughs> cursing. What? All right, little man. This is unacceptable, bro. Dub Dot is the one who had me saying bitch in the chat. Oh, this is what I popped, little man. Yo, when I popped him with no money spent, I said, bitch. Bitch. Oh, yeah, my man. Damn. Poor simping. Poor simping.
<laughs> there it is. All right, all right, all right. Who else we got? Who else we got? Who else we got? Who is this? Mr. Man? Who banned him? What is this? I don't really know why I was banned. I don't usually talk in the chat. I mean, he don't even have no messages. <laughs> he never talked. I mean, hey, <laughs> welcome back. <laughs> welcome back. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't even know who banned my man. Okay, next one. Here we go. Uh-oh. I said you're banned. Get your unbanned requests in. No, nah, I got to get rid of this guy, bro. No, nah, we got to get rid of him. Oh, he said exposed too. Yeah, we got to get rid of this guy. Oh, deny. Here it is. <laughs> Yo, isn't this some shit like, like the 2K, like 2K my career would, would say? Isn't this some 2K my career sentence? There's no room for this in my in this community. <laughs> oh, what would he say? I am now a born again Christian. I have seen the light of our Lord, our Savior Jesus. Do we bring him back? Hold on, wait, wait, I ain't read. I ain't read his reasoning. Hold on, hold on. Do we, I feel like listen. He said that wild ass grandma in the back seat. But how do we feel? Bring him back. My man's name is coming. Keep reading. There's nothing else to read. <laughs> Stay positive. Oh, damn. I denied him. Damn. Zip him up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Never mind. Fuck him. <laughs> All right. Let me make sure I put it back on. Hold on. Wait. All right. Who's this guy? The King Ward. Someone's mama. Oh my god, this is just so big on my screen. I need to find a better way to do this. I can't believe y'all timed me out just for that. I'm going to have to jam up your mama jelly tight damn right. Why would I get banned for having part in a conversation with someone else in the chat? That's terrible. I feel like he didn't apologize right here. I feel like he just... I feel like he just questioned his banning rather than apologize. What do you got? I don't know. We can't just unban everybody. I feel like he really just questioned why he got banned rather than realizing what he did. Uh, all right next one. Oh, oh black lives matter hold on what, what's going on here i am daddy 23 oh i am daddy 23 wow wow this bro what how many belts you won recently dubby clearly you don't know what it what to do you didn't even make it to mcs y'all clearly making him leave because he is black who are we talking about I need to see the rest of his. Yeah, I gotta see the rest of his 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 uh what you call his uh messages, bro. It's like I can't see messages right now, bro. Oh my god, bro! Like what? Fuck. All right, I'm just gonna do this for now. All right. 
I, I know y'all can't see. I know y'all can't see all this. But hold on. His first message was, A.W., when you're hitting it from the back on a bitch, you like to take your time or just send blitz at the bitch and pound that. <laughs> like, who is this guy? <laughs> Skimbo sounds like the one guy whose girlfriend just confessed she was born a man. How many hoes you got? <laughs> Yo, W, you want a hill with Zan? What? 49er, when was the last time you got some ass or some head? Oh my god, bro. This dude is nasty. Xfinity 13. Wow. W spends about 400000 worth of money and still can't buy a belt. Of course, Boogs won. He actually wins games that count. I'm going to problem stream so I can get some quality content. Shut your bitch ass up and play the game for I know your bitch ass out. W, why don't you suck on Journey Nuts so you can see what a belt tastes like again? Bro, this is like, these are, these are non-stop messages. And he never gets banned. Like, literally. So that's what I mean about I don't ban people. Like this has been, yo, he has over 70 messages like this. How many belts you won recently, Dubby? Clearly you don't know what it did it to make the MCS. And then he said, you're making him leave because he's black. I don't know who that was, but we were probably cussing this. Like for real, I don't ban anybody. All right, but let's see what his, let's see what his unmanned, what his request was, bro. Black Lives Matter, why am I getting banned for being black? I don't know if that's a good enough uh, a request, chat. I don't know. Now, if I deny, exactly, Kane, I'm in a lose-lose right now. If I, if I deny him, I don't care about black lives, right? But if I accept him, he's going to be right back in the chat telling me to suck some nuts to find a belt. You know? Now what do I do here? Yeah, I'm I'm like Like seriously. What do I do? It's an impossible spot. It's an impossible spot I'm in right now. That's a good poll. That's a good poll. I like the poll. You guys gotta help me. This is a tough spot we're in, boys. You know? I don't know. I don't know, boys. I don't know. A 2004... I'm daddy, 23? Uh oh I don't know. Damn, that's a lot of denies. We are over two to one on denies right now. Two to one? Two to one? Make him play Earl. This is like, bro, this is somebody, bro. The chat looking real racist. All right, chat. We need, we, chat, we need y'all to tell us your race and how you voted. We got to take notes. Somebody. What's your race and how did you vote? <laughs> That's all. Uh. Irish and free. Uh. 
Let's see what he got for us, Brennan. I'm Daddy is back. All right, last one. Breeze Knight. Damn, I banned this guy? He said Madden misses you? Damn. LOL, word. And I banned him. I don't know what I did to ban this guy. February? Nine, a nine month ban. <laughs> He's back. <laughs> All right, that's it. So if you are banned, man, get your, uh, what is this right here? Whispers? Philly version of Earl. <laughs> All right, yeah, that dude's banned for life. No time for that guy, bro. Ah, that's a good point. Yeah, I just gotta start banning people. Fat. That's what I, I told Rob that when he when he said, bro, he was like, yo, check out your unban request. I'm like, bro, there's like two people in there. I'm gonna just start banning people now. Grammar bans, yeah, we need more of those, man. More grammar bans, facts. Alright, boy, alright, YouTube. We are over what, an hour and a half right now, man. I gotta find a better way to make that bigger on the screen though, really. I got to make that bit bigger on the screen. Free Jeff facts. Free Jebby. I, I don't ban I don't ban people, man. I think that's it. You saw what that guy was saying that never got banned. He told me suck nuts to see what a belt feels like. I didn't Okay. Now, if you're from YouTube and you made it this far, put your cash app below in the, in, in the description, boys. This was the Needle Podcast, episode 107, Salt Nation. Salt Nation, I'll be honest, bright future. Got to keep grinding. That's all. Just got to keep grinding. Chat, before we go, is the Salt Nation future W or L, boys? Is the Salt Nation future W or L, boys? I'm feeling big dubs for Salt Nation going forward, bro. That's all I'm saying. And this is what you got to... The 50-50 is a good thing, bro. I'm telling you. You can't have everybody sucking your dick. Right? This is what you need. This is the... Listen. You need half the people trying to suck your dick and the other half trying to knock those people off your dick. Because then they fight. And when they fight, you don't even got to do shit. It's like LeBron. LeBron is the biggest story in the world. Because half the people want to say he's better than Jordan. And the other half want to say he sucks. He'll never be better than Jordan. That's what you need. You need the 50-50 split. You know? You can't have everyone sucking your dick. That's boring. Raid Salty. Need a podcast episode 107.